Nothing new to report besides the fact that there's only so much wolfy naked twister a girl can take. Hello my shoddy base, hello my besties. I am so excited for today's video because I am going to be doing a non-spoiler reading vlog of the highest and the lowest rated books on my March TBR. So if y'all watch my March TBR video, go watch that first so you can see all the books that are up for grabs in this video and then come back, I'll wait. Did you go? Are you back? I'm just going to assume that you're back. Anyway, so I went through my entire TBR and I picked two books that have around the same amount of ratings. What I figured out when I was doing this was if a book has a high rating, but it only has like five ratings, of course, that makes sense, you know, whereas if a book has 100,000 ratings, it's going to be lower. So I wanted to pick two books that kind of have similar amounts of ratings. So that ended up being The Favor by Suzanne Wright and The Fake Mate by Lana Ferguson. The Fake Mate has 3.73 average rating and The Favor has a four star average rating which is very high for goodreads because people go on there to complain okay me included so i'm very excited to read both of these let me just say my hypothesis i'm gonna assume that goodreads is wrong i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna just go ahead and say it right now i'm gonna love the fake mate i just know i'm gonna love the fake mate because i loved the nanny by lana ferguson and it just has everything that i feel like i would like i love the cover i love the vibes i love the premise and then i don't know if i'm gonna like the favor so i'm gonna go ahead and say i don't agree with goodreads i think the fake mate is gonna be better and i think the favor is gonna be okay like maybe i'll just enjoy it but i won't love it i don't know those are the vibes anyway enjoy this video i love you so much don't look over there my bed's not made i'm gonna start the fake mate today i'm so excited and by excited i mean not at all because i have a huge headache but i am looking forward to this book i will say i liked lana ferguson's other book the nanny i'm pretty sure i liked it so i'm excited for the fake mate i feel like a lot of people rated it badly but like i'm gonna like it mark my words i'm gonna like it here we go her name's mackenzie nice hi mackenzie oh this is the wolf one Ow. Okay, Bella, where the hell have you been? Look at. Let's pretend I didn't just help. Wait, pause everything, y'all. She's a shifter, which I guess is like a new way to say wolf shifter, okay? And she's an Omega. So is this like Omegaverse? I don't know what Omegaverse is. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought it was about wolves, but then I figured out, like, I Googled it once and I saw that it's not about wolves. I'm gonna search up Omegaverse meaning. Yeah, it says A B O, abbreviation, alpha, beta, omega. It's a subgenre of erotic fiction. Okay, what does that mean? Like, what does that mean? Why can't you just explain it to me? It's an alternate universe following the hierarchy of wolves. Oh, so it is wolves. Is it wolves? Alpha, beta, omega. Okay, so she's an omega. So she's at the bottom of the pyramid. Why the fuck is she so, like, cocky about it? I don't know what any of this shit means. But anyway, so far, so good. He's a wolf, too. He's a wolf, too. Okay, Jacob. Bella, where the hell have you been? Look up hard, too. Oh, I need to sneeze. <laughs> Bless you, me. You welcome me. Thanks, me. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, she's a wolf and he's a wolf. They're both wolves. Interesting. The plot thickens. And he's an alpha. Okay, King. He's literally an alpha. Did I mention that? Did I re say that? I need to emphasize. Emphasize. Emph English is not my first language. I need to, to tell you again. He's an alpha. Amazing. No, because you're telling me she literally scrapes the toppings off of a Twix bar. I don't even know what that means. Like she's literally like eating the top, like the chocolate and like taking it out of the cookie, just like scraping it with her mouth and then eating just the cookie part of a Twix. Just eat a cookie. What is, what is wrong with you? You horrible piece of shit. Oh my, I'm appalled. Like I'm appalled. I've read some, some weird shit, but this is where I draw the line. Anyway, I'm having a great time. Mark my words. I'm having a great time. Did you write it down? Did you write down Larry's having a great time? Because Larry's having a great time. I've relocated to my bed. I don't remember what the last thing I said to you was. It was this morning. And now it's currently, I don't even know what time it is. It's nighttime. And I relocated to my bed. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm bored. I'm bored. I am so bored. The beginning was so fun, so interesting. And then I got to like 150 pages and now it's just dragging to me. I don't know why, because it was giving and now it's giving a whole bunch of nothing. It's giving a whole bunch of nothing. And I'm scared because I want to love this so bad, but now I don't even want to read it. Like, I don't even want to continue. Every single part of me just wants to rewatch Big Bang Theory. And what do I do about that? You know what I was thinking? I have a plan. I'm going to get up. Okay. I'm going to go color. Hold on. You listen to the full plan before you yell at me. I'm going to go color. I'm going to put on my headphones and I'm going to finish this in audiobook format. Is that genius or is that genius because i saw the audiobook and i feel like i could do the audiobook i could finish this in audiobook because right now if you leave me with this paperback i fear i'm not gonna finish it i fear i'm gonna dnf if i'm forced to read this that's how bored i am right now and i don't know why i was so invested last night last morning when was it that was it that i was reading this yesterday morning i was so invested and now all of a sudden i'm not invested anymore okay we're gonna go color and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna finish this book while we're coloring we're gonna listen to the audiobook it's gonna be amazing hey i'm going to finish the fake mate on audio while i color 
color. Here's my coloring book. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna lie to you. I remember I told you I was gonna finish the fake me while I colored. Remember that? That was days ago and I still have not picked this book back up. So you could just tell that I'm not really loving it because or else I would have just binged the entire thing. I'm pretty much halfway through. So I'm just gonna finish the other half in audio. Hopefully it gets better. Stay tuned. Also, if it looks dark, it's because I'm facing away from the light. And also part two, my other camera broke. So I'm having to use my other camera. My other other camera broke. So now I'm having to use my other camera. And so if it looks different than before, that's why. Anyway, let's finish the fake mate, shall we? I'm so excited. Look at the one I colored yesterday. It's so pretty. I need to show you. Hold on. Look at this. I love her. I'll update you when I update you. You know how in books they'll be like, you're a good girl, aren't you? Praise kink. Okay. Well, he just said, you're a good omega, aren't you? I'm literally throwing up and dying and wanting to cry. Also, my air is on. If you can hear that, it's because my air is on. I deeply apologize. You're a good omega, aren't you? I don't know how I'm gonna survive this. Also, chapter nine is already like spice is spicing already. Like, look at this, hold on, just for some reference. This is where chapter nine is. Look at this. I have this much left of the book. Pretty much everything that is supposed to happen has already happened. So that's great. I also have made some progress on my picture. So that's very nice. I just wanna let you know that there's no way this book could get any worse. I physically am not able to continue. Like it's even bothering me while I'm coloring. I'm coloring and listening to the audiobook, and it's even, I can't, I can't. On the bright side, it can't get much worse than this. It got worse. Somehow it got worse. Like, tell me why she's in heat. She's in heat and now all of a sudden the entire book is just pure smile. And like, I get it, she's a dog. But what? <laughs> what? in the fuck. Is this what Omegaverse consists of? Because I don't know if I'm built for this. Because this is like the smallest thing. Like I feel like this is just dipping your toes in it and I'm just not vibing at all. But then again, I really liked Bride. But was that Omegaverse? I don't even really know if this is Omegaverse. I don't even really know what it means. Oh God, she's in heat. I'm rethinking everything. Nothing new to report besides the fact that there's only so much wolfy naked twister a girl can take. I'm bored and I simply don't care. All I want to do is just finish this book. I have like a hundred pages left and as soon as I finish, I'm throwing a party. Everybody's invited to my I finally fucking finished this horrible book party. I don't know why I'm hating it so much. Like what? I really thought I was gonna love this. Good thing I don't get paid for thinking. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish my coloring. I'm gonna finish my coloring and then I'm gonna finish this bug. I will let you know. Well, finished I did. Do I regret it? Yes. <laughs> Okay, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. I'm gonna rate it two stars. It's not to the point that I, you know, DNF'd it or I one starred it, but it definitely is a two stars in the sense that I'm never gonna think about this again. Like, I literally closed this book and I forgot the characters' names. Like, what are their names? I think it's Mackenzie. Yeah, it's Mackenzie and Noah. Okay. See, I should have known that this was not gonna be my cup of tea when in the back it literally says Noah Taylor, the big bad wolf of Denver General. What in the little red writing hood is that? Anyway, I am a big spicy book fan. You know what I mean? If a book is spicy, that's fine. I'm a fan, but I need emotion. I need tension. I need love. I need romance. And I feel like this book lacked all of that. Like right on page 100 something, like on chapter nine, there was already spice and the tension was gone. Like it literally lasted this much. It, up to this point, I was very invested. And then the rest of it just absolutely lost me. I got bored. I didn't care about the characters. Her being in heat 24 seven really pissed me off. I get it, woof woof, dog. I get it. I, I no, no, if I wanted to read a dog, book I would I would just go watch Marley and me no that that's not true because I hate that movie <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I just say words and like, I don't really know what, what I'm saying until they're out of my mouth. Anyway, no, two stars. I'm literally gonna go rate it on Goodreads right now. That's how upset I am. Wow, that's really sad because let me just tell you, I really thought I was gonna love this. I really did. I liked the nanny, but now I see that Lana Ferguson maybe is just not my cup of tea because it's like 400 pages of just spice. A lot of people would like that. And maybe if I was in the mood, I would. I wasn't in the mood. I needed some more romance. I needed some more pizzazz, you know? Goodbye. I'm done. The one good thing about this book is that I'm done. So, yay. Can't wait to move on to the next one. This one, goodbye. That was aggressive. Let me go pick it back up. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Moving on. I'm doing it. Oh my God, you look so bright. I don't know why you look so bright. Let me explain myself. I, I have no explanation. Let me try to fix it. Hold on. 
That's a bit better, right? It looks brighter than the sun in here. What the fuck? Anyway, I'm starting the favor. Wait, hold on. I'm starting the favor by Suzanne Wright. I am very excited for this one. I'm not as excited as I was for the fake mate because the fake mate I had already been anticipating for quite a while. This one, I haven't been anticipating it at all, but I'm excited nonetheless. It can't be worse than the fake mate. You know what I mean? Like we can only go up from here. So here we go. This is the CEO assistant one. I think it's a marriage of convenience. Fake marriage, something like that. Here we go. I have nothing to do today, but lay here and read. So we might even finish. Let's hope for the best. Um, I'm already invested. I literally have read exactly two pages. But let me just tell you what happens on page two. Are you ready? This man says, and I quote, he's talking to her ex-boyfriend, I'm guessing, or somewhere in her past. And she's, did, did she say it's an ex-boyfriend? Hold on, let me double check. I'm just double checking. He's talking to her ex-boyfriend, as I was saying, I was right the first time. And he says, she's not yours. There are my rings on her finger. It's my name she's taken. It's my bed she shares. She's mine. So whether you care for her or not, isn't fucking relevant. <sighs> Excuse me? Like, excuse me. Like, I'm already in love. This is already at least a four star. Okay, that's dramatic, but I'm really having a good time already. One thing I absolutely hate in books is when the man is described as like extremely male. He tasted like masculinity. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? First of all, what kind of a scent is that? Second of all, no. Who wants that? Not me. Not me, not I. What do you mean he smells like a male? What the fuck? Is he a lion? I'm confusion. Stop it right now. I've read about like 50 pages and can't confirm that this book is called The Favor because she owes him a favor. <laughs> Nothing gets past me. One thing about this book is it has the weirdest ex I've ever seen in the history of exes. Like the child thing. Excuse Excuse me, what? I've never seen that in my life and never do I want to see it again. Pack it up, goodbye, your time has left. What is wrong with you? You know what I love? The fact that he's her boss. Like, okay, slay. You know what this is giving? This is giving the wall of Winnipeg and me meets terms and conditions. And that's what this is reminding me of. Like it's giving those exact vibes. So if you like either of those books, I feel like you're gonna like this. But stay tuned, I haven't finished yet. But that's just my thought right now. Like I said, nothing gets past this dome of intelligence. Just called this the dome of intelligence. You know what I'm finding really refreshing? I feel very weird about it because I never see it done. This book has such good communication. Is this what it's supposed to be like? And every other book just fucks with my brain? Because why are they just getting through things together? Why are they talking? Why are they sitting down and working things out? Why are you not storming off and then you guys break up for three months and then later you realize that you could have just been together this whole time had you talked for five seconds? I don't get it. This book has quite literally every trope known to man and I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. I just closed it and I forgot what page I was on. This is why I don't read paperbacks. You see? Anyway, what was I saying? Oh my God, every trope. The nightmare trope. The taking care of her when she's sick trope. The... What was I saying? I got so distracted. Oh my God. Oh, the my wife trope. The defending her in front of everyone trope. The overprotective trope. Marriage trope. Fake trope. Oh my God, it has everything. It has everything packed into one action-packed book. It sounds like I'm like selling you on the book. I'm not selling you on the book. I just really love this book right now. <laughs> Sounds like I'm like a commercial. I'm like, do you want action, romance, and humor all at once? Read this book. It could be yours for only $9.99. <laughs> I will say though, one thing is every single person in this book is out to get each other. Like what is happening? Can't they just let these people be happy? I've never seen so many people hate someone in my life. That's a bit much. But other than that, I'm having a great time. I'm not gonna lie to you besties. I quite literally just fell asleep. I read 200 pages of this book. I was vibing, I was chilling, I was having a great time. 200 pages in, I'm on chapter 22. I fall asleep. Anyway, I'm still laying here. If I lay here, if I just lay here. I'm loving this book so much, but I'm getting so fucking tired. And I feel like it's because I'm reading in bed. But am I gonna stop? Probably not because I'm so lazy and I don't want to get up. But I should, but I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? Are you gathering what I'm talking about? We have 100 pages left. I don't think there's anything that could happen in this book to make it go downhill to the point that it's any less than a four star. It's that good. Like, please go read it. It's on Kindle Unlimited. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Maybe I'll get my Kindle and maybe I'll read it on my Kindle in bed and maybe that'll help me not fall asleep. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll read it in the shower. Maybe I'll go shower and read it. Okay, I'm gonna go finish this book. I'll be back. Be right back on Disney Channel. Choo, 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 choo. I just drew the Mickey. Did you see that? Okay. I really underestimated how long I had to finish this book because I said yesterday that I was going to go finish. I didn't. I didn't because I read like 30 pages and I got distracted. Then I read another 20 pages. I got distracted again and I finally finished just now this morning. So it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. You know, you wouldn't have even known that it was a different day had I not told you because I'm wearing the same pajamas as per fucking usual. So you know what? Let's just pretend it's the same day. <laughs> 
I finished this book. I'm gonna rate it 4.5. The only reason why it's not a five star is because I feel like there were too many people involved, like not involved in their relationship, but too many people out to get them that it almost felt like too much in a way to me. And it just didn't feel like it didn't give me a five star. It wasn't that long either. It was like 300 pages. So I think it was the perfect length. It's not one of those books that I'm like, oh my God, and like God of Fury kind of vibes where I'm just so obsessed with it. I need everyone to read it right now, you know, but it's definitely a really, really good book. And I understand why it's so highly rated on Goodreads because it's very, very, very good. It's fun. It's mature. The banter is amazing. The characters are funny, but the characters are also romantic. There's spice, but not too much spice. It's a slow burn, but not too slow burn. The author walked the line perfectly, in my humble opinion. Also, it's kind of bright out here, so I don't really even know if you can see the cover. Oh my god, the little cat. Oh, that's so cute now that I understand it. Anyway, I would highly recommend you go read this book. If it's between the fake mate or the favorite, go read the favorite because you know what? Worth it. And it's on Kindle Unlimited, so you can just run and go binge it. I heard the audiobook is good too. I cannot relate because I didn't listen, but I'm sure it is because I saw the narrator. I sampled the audiobook and the narrator was good. So I feel like the audio would be great for this. I have zero complaints, honestly. Like the only reason why it's not a five star is just because I, I didn't get that feeling, like I said, but everything else was pretty much perfect. So the favor, Suzanne Wright, yes. And say the shit with your chest and be your own fucking best friend. Okay, yeah. We did it. We have officially finished the lowest rated book on Goodreads from my TBR, from my March TBR, for being more specific. And then the highest rated book from my, the, you cannot see that. You cannot see that. It is way too bright. Have you noticed I have this issue? It's either way too bright or it's way too dark. We can never have nice things. This is why we can't have nice things. Sorry, you know I was gonna do it. Like the chance was right there. What did you think I was gonna do? Not do it? <laughs> Not me, not I. If I have a chance to talk about Taylor Swift, I'll take it. We finally finished reading. I don't know why I said finally. It literally took us a week. I'm um, being so dramatic. But we read the lowest rated book from my March TBR, which was The Fake Mate with the rating. What was the rating on that one? With the rating 3.73. And I cannot help but agree because I ended up rating this one two stars. This one follows Mackenzie and I think his name's Noah. Yeah. And they're both ER doctors, but they're also wolves. <laughs> they also shift into wolves. And essentially he is an alpha and he can't let people find out that he's an alpha. But then when people start finding out, he needs to pretend that he has a mate because if you have a mate, I guess you're less threatening as an alpha. So she starts pretending to be his mate. Her reasons are because she wants her grandma to get off her back and stop bothering her about having a boyfriend. And then his reason is, well, what I just fucking told you. And it just basically was not worth my time whatsoever. I did not like this at all. You saw me have a horrible time with it and I stand by it. This was a week ago. And usually after a week, I like cool off. I'm like, okay, the book wasn't as bad as I thought. No, this was as bad as I thought. Well, to me, if you still wanna read it, go for it. If you love Lana Ferguson, and you're like, I must read all of her books. You do your thing. I am not stopping you. It just was not for me. Maybe it's also because I just came off of reading Bride by Ellie Hazelwood and it gives the same energy. So maybe I liked Bride and then I didn't like this. Maybe if I would have hated Bride, I would have liked this. Or if I would have read it at a different time. I don't know. I'm a big believer that like the time you read a book makes a big difference on whether you like it or not. You have to be in the mood for it. For me, I am a mood reader through and through. And I just feel like this was not for me. So two stars for the fake mate. I do agree with the Goodreads reviews. Surprisingly enough, because usually I would say I don't. Like for instance, You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hockles one of my favorites. And that book is like a three stars on Goodreads for whatever reason. That book's amazing. And yet people on Goodreads hate it. So I usually don't agree with Goodreads. So I'm shocked by this. And then the favorite was the highest rated one from RTBR um, by Suzanne Ray. You saw me obsess over this. It is only one POV, but fret not. Okay. It's still so fucking good. I feel like the one POV actually made it better because not knowing what was going on in his brain until she knew was kind of fun. You know, like I feel like that was necessary for this type of book. This follows Dane and Vienna and Vienna is basically his assistant and he's like a CEO. He's super rich and he's like, hey, remember I did you a favor a little while ago? And she's like, yeah, you saved me. Thank you so much. And he's like, no, 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 no. You're gonna pay me back now. And the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna marry me. And she's like, what the fuck do you mean? And basically he has a trust fund that he can only access if he's married for a year. So his assistant marries him for that trust fund. So it's fake marriage. It is fake dating. It is boss employee. It is grumpy sunshine. Oh my God, it's everything. It's everything. This book had the best communication I've ever seen in any book ever. Yes, so 4.5 for this one. Highly, highly recommend. And then two for this one. Highly don't recommend. Recommend. Wow, we you look at that. Our experiment was fun because I actually ended up agreeing with Goodreads. Let me know if you like this kind of video and if you want to see me do this again because I would love to like see some other books that are highest and lowest rated. I just have to have like a, a list to go from. Like for instance, I had my March TBR list to go from with this one. I can't just put my entire TBR because that's like thousands of books. I'm not going to sit there looking through thousands of books ratings. You know what I mean? That's just who has the time, not me, not I. So you let me know if you enjoyed it and, and we'll do it again. Okay, love you so much. Have such a good day.